are to get underway. To walk over to her goalkeeper, Andy Lizamini, and wish her the best of luck. Oh! In September, a little flick on here by Super Senra. Mahaya's in the area looking for a cutback, and that is going to be a corner, says the referee. Mahaya is expecting a penalty call here. First corner. And dealt with by Marishi. The part is in football over the years. Here's Masudi. Mahaya. Shabak. Floated ball. That is dealt with by the height of Super Senwe. And that's out for. Oh. It should be out for the corner, I thought. But he done nicely. Don't know it will get on the end of this, surely. Delivery in. And Noko Matlo has got enough on that to steer it away from immediate danger. Morocco throw it'll be. Deep inside South African City. The Royal Armed Forces goalkeeper. It's Joale who looks to go directly towards goal. It's a little too high, though, and floats comfortably over the crossbar. Sane picking up in possession. She's got speed. Klalo, though, gets possession. Down she goes. And the referee thought about it before eventually awarding the free kick. There's Shabak charging forward. She's left Super Simi. Better of her. Malepe here just really caught, so I think she... In the ball into uh, a forward position. Just a little tug off the ball here. Things are not really going her way. She's not able to connect with the midfielders and passes. And that's why she's forced into dropping into defence. Mahaya might go directly at goal and tries... Here. Lovely ball in for Mahaya, looks for goal. Ermici with a fine save to deny Banyana Banyana the opening strike. The ball cleared away by Nisreen El Shad. Now I'm sorry. Opportunity to make use of transition ball here. It is Ayane. Very little support. Saud is sprinting up toward Chelsea. Tagnaud will cut back. Ayane has pushed her effort wide. It's a first shot at goal by Morocco. at the end of this opening half two sides that have come to play but two sides to keep that consistency in the team for a very long time there's Mahaya looking to go past Aital Haj a delivery in towards Ramishi but she's able to snaffle the ball and deny South Africa an opportunity who looks to go with pace around the outside of El Shad Super Senwe driven ball into the 18 yard area but it is a comfortable catch for goalkeeper Ramishi Foray into Banyana Banyana territory from the right fullback. Klalo going down off the ball, free kick South Africa. In France. Israel is trying to encourage her players as they gather around the tech. Into that danger area, Hassani. Cut back is good. Meet with Super Senwe, who's inside the 18 yard area, stays on her feet here. Super Senwe, she's got two players to pick up. South Africa had the opening goal of this final. It's come just beyond the hour mark, and Hilda Machaya has tapped it home. Her second goal of the tournament. She scored against Nigeria, she's now scored in the final. And for the first time in a Women's Africa Cup of Nations final, South Africa lead. They never led in 2000, they never led in 2008. In 2012, they were always behind. And in 2018, they did not score. But in 2022, South Africa are in front. And it has come through persistence. Super Senwe is staying on her feet here superbly. And then Mahaya, right place, right time, slots at home fairly comfortably. But the hard work already done. A great build-up leading up to that goal with the 
Like so Bamba Nanimbane just collecting the second ball, making sure that she drives the ball the way through to Jermaine Supersino, who I think with her pace and their partnership with Makayo, they always have one up their sleeves. And perfect timing, perfect execution, and well, well converted by Hilda. The pained expression from Hanan. Ramalepa needs to be careful. She's already on a yellow card. She backs ball into the areas deflect. Yep, and it's important for the South Africans with a little less position. Here's a chance for a second. South African lead by two goals to nil in this final. And Hilda Bahia is now joint leading scorer in this tournament. In the space of 10 minutes, she scored twice. And this final has been brought to life in the most dramatic fashion. As South Africa did against Nigeria by stunning their opponents with two quick goals. They've done the same in the final and Morocco are trailing by a double. Super Senwe involved again. Klamini keeps this ball in play. And then to Machaya after El Shad tried to block that ball. But she goes around the outside, looks to tee up a teammate. Be so rewarding if they win the trophy. Lovely chance here for Morocco. Can Tagnaud get them back in? Right to the one to Morocco are fighting their way back in here. Rosella Ayane gets her first goal from open play in this tournament. And South Africa trying to keep it composed at the back have found themselves caught on the break by a rampant Morocco who are trying to inspire themselves after the crowd had gone quiet. But the stadium utterly enlivened again as Ayane gets her second of the tournament. once again just showing up at the right time. South Africa is just a lapse in concentration, dispossessed in their own half, and the Moroccans punish them. But once again, great vision from the likes of Tatnaut, just to get in there, give that cross back, and Ayane says thank you. Ayane with a fine goal, the capped off a magnificent move from Morocco. Jiraidi heavily involved, Tatnaut with the square ball, and then the finish from the England-based striker. Morocco strict threaten here. Ayane! And that'll be a false strike. Gave Morocco a glimmer of hope, but ultimately a missed meet with Super Senwe, who's inside the 18-yard area. Stays on her feet here, Super Senwe. She's got two players to pick up. South Africa had the opening goal of this final. It's come just beyond the hour mark. And Hilda Machaya has tapped it home, her second goal of the tournament. She scored against Nigeria, she's now scored in the final. And for the first time in a Women's Africa Cup of Nations final, South Africa lead. They never led in 2000, they never led in 2008. In 2012, they were always behind. And in 2018, they did not score. Yep, and it's important for the South Africans with a little less position. Here's a chance for a second! South African lead by two goals to nil in this final and Hilda Bahia is now joint leading scorer in this tournament. In the space of 10 minutes she scored twice and this final has been brought to life in the most dramatic fashion. As South Africa did. It's so rewarding if they win the trophy. Lovely chance here for Morocco. Can Tagnaud get them back in? Right to the one to nil. composed at the back have found themselves caught on the break by a rampant Morocco who are trying to inspire themselves after the crowd had gone quiet.